Hey guys, so we haven't done a video for you in a while. I'm uh, Taylor Gormley, one of the commercial brokers here at KBD. It's Adam, director. So today uh, we're here to talk to you about condo buildings. So there's a ton of condo buildings going up around Montreal. Lots of first time condo buyers out there. I'm a condo owner myself, so I'm just here uh, to share a few tips, a few things I learned through my experience. And Adam will talk to you about uh, more the insurance side when it comes to condos. Uh, so the first thing you want to look at when buying a condo is the condo fees. So just a warning, if you're buying a brand new building, you're going to see probably the fees are nice and low. Uh, these will likely go up. The reason for this is because uh, the promoters are trying to sell a brand new building. They want to entice the buyers to buy the units and uh, they don't really know how the, building, the building's going to be run yet. So, you know, as time goes on, the management, they're going to figure out how much it actually costs to maintain this building and this price will likely go up. The second tip I have, if you're buying a building that's already been around for a few years, is to ask for the minutes of the association's general meetings. This way you'll have a better idea, again, of uh, how the building's being run, if there's any legal issues, water damage troubles, things like that. The third tip I have is if you're buying, again, in a building that's already been around, if you have neighbors, you wanna try and visit in the evening when the neighbors are gonna be present. That we'll know if you have uh, loud and noisy neighbors or if you're in a nice, uh, quiet part of the building. No DJs allowed. So thanks, Taylor, for those tips. Those were, those were excellent. Uh, I'm going to do just a quick summary of uh, the types of insurance that go into uh, condo insurance. So there's your syndicate insurance, which insures uh, the entire building itself, uh, including your unit. And then there's your personal condo uh, insurance. It has five main coverages. The first coverage being your content. So that's your clothes, your, your TV, your sofa, stuff like that. Your second coverage would be your civil liability. An example of that would be damage you can cause to a third party. So uh, if you leave your sink on by accident and there's water damage in the unit below you, they would be suing you. That's where your civil liability would cover you. The third being any additional living expenses you could incur should your condo unit or building become uninhabitable due to a, a mass evacuation or a covered uh, claim. We'll pay for your hotel, we'll pay for your groceries, we'll pay for your transport, that kind of stuff. Um, we also cover the improvements that you can use to, uh, improvements you could bring to your unit. So an example of that would be if you change the flooring, you change the countertops, you make it a, a kitchen hood gam, something along those lines. And the last one being any uh, excess insurance that is not covered by the syndicate, that way you're not in the hole for uh, $1,000 because the syndicate was subinsured. I think that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for listening in. It's been a while. We've been pretty busy here at KVD. We're going to try and get back to doing more of these videos because uh, uh, we've been getting a lot of comments about that, how popular they are and how much you guys love them. So. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, see you next week. Thanks guys.